shoes. Whilst uh, working in China, um, the first factory um, that I was working on where I was installing a uh, weighing and grading system for weighing and grading chickens, there was quite a bit of uh, electrical cabling required, um, power cabling as well as data cabling, things like that. So uh, I engaged with the, um, the on-site electrician. Um, obviously he was Chinese contractor, which is fine, um, there was no English. And it was hard to um, how to communicate without the interpreter, but I sort of found a way. Um, counting is, is pretty universal, and that was one of the uh, the primary ways that um, we worked. Um, so how many cables needed running, what sort of cables, from where to where, where the main supply was needed, and things like that. Um, I think I got really well with the electrician actually, and he was showing me um, the power um, coming into the factory, the three phase power. Um, I think it was meant to be 512 volts or thereabouts, but uh, I think it, it widely fluctuated. It wasn't the cleanest three phase power supply. But to me, it was the most interesting thing was when he showed me the three big isolators per phase. Um, they were mounted on a wooden trestle, and uh, each one of them was huge. It looked like um, the sort of lever you'd see on uh, Frankenstein, uh, creating Frankenstein's monster. But I think what was not more possibly monstrous than that was the fact that there was no no insulators, there was no cases, there was no boxes around them. There was some very heavy bare cables coming from the ceiling, going into these three big breakers. On the other side there's three more cables. And uh, I somehow communicated to the electrician. I was intrigued. Um, I wanted to know um, why he didn't get electrocuted. And he said, um, with sign language I suppose, good shoes. Uh, pointing at his feet. Um, yeah, that's uh, that was interesting. Um, yeah, on the subject of shoes uh, in China, um, the roads, some of the roads down the most remotest parts of China are not proper roads. They're very muddy, and I remember thinking that um, your shoes would always be dirty. They were never clean um, because of that. And uh, one of my final stays in China was at the Move and Pick Hotel in uh, Beijing. And they had uh, a shoe shine boy. They had to clean shoes. I mean, it sort of makes perfect sense uh, in a way that um, you know maybe you've been touring the country and you know, you've got dirty shoes and they need cleaning. It's not really something I think of um, here now uh, in Europe, but um, it was sort of a thing. <coughs> Excuse me. And I also noticed that um, I, I couldn't have a shoe shine boy shining my shoes. Um, yeah, I, I couldn't do that. It was a thing that um, yeah I was very uncomfortable with, but. Uh, Luckily, I was with a Dutch engineer and he said, listen, just give him your shoes and come back later.